Wild Marmot spots friendly hiker and goes out of her way to shower him with love. What an incredible and humbling experience. She was so comfortable and at peace with him. A hiking adventure is never the same experience, even when you go to the same places. French adventure photographer and filmmaker Araline Chantren grew up in Mont Blanc Valley in France climbing mountains. He climbed mountains in 60 countries but keeps coming back to the French Alps for more outdoor adventures. One of the places he comes back to is Haute Savoie, France. He went there again with a few other hikers and they had an unexpected companion join them while they were resting on the ridge. She's shy but friendly. She eats a lot but only in the morning or night. She's also a furry little creature that weighs about 5 kilograms. Can you guess what she is? She's an alpine marmot. While Aureline and other hikers were resting on the ridge, this furry little marmot came out of her burrow and joined them in the Alps. At first she just looked at them, but then she came closer. Aureline was lying on the grass when the marmot came up to him. She started to lick my hand, arm, and actually kept going. So what did I do? Aureline said. I just laid down and she began to come closer and closer until she licked my whole face. It's quite a strange feeling. The marmot licked his nose first, then she went up to his forehead, and she wasn't stopping. She kept licking, especially since he wasn't moving and he was staying still. And even though she started to lick his eyes as well, at no point did Arlene feel like the marmot was going to attack him. In fact, he believed she might just be hungry. Marmots, after all, are known to only come out of their burrows when they're about to feed themselves. At one point, she brought her head up and stood at attention for a second before continuing to lick Arlene. When she didn't stop licking his face, Arlene laid his head down on the grass so they were both comfortable. It worked for the marmot because she even placed her paw in the corner of his mouth so she can reach the far side of his face. Because she was coming out of hibernation, she was looking for mineral salts, and she found Arlene and his salty face. I think that's why she was licking my arms and face, Arlene guessed. She was just feeding on salt. And when she was done, she placed her front paws on Orlean's face and held her head high, as if to say, victory. She stepped away from Orlean and started to hunt for her food. This is an experience that may not happen again, especially for Orlean, and he wanted to soak it up and remember it for a lifetime. It's nice to think that the animal can also see us as an animal without fear. To think that ultimately humans are part of nature and nature comes to nature, Orlean shared, it's really comforting. Orlean has another great French Alps memory to add to his bank, and he hopes the marmot feels the same way too. Please share this with your friends and family.